Hey girl, hello all my beautiful queens and king. This is your one and only, y'all know who it is, y'all know who channel you watch. So girl, listen, I'm not even gonna stop to tell y'all what time it is at night. Girl, it's so super late. Y'all let me know down, let me know down in the comments if you see a track showing, girl. Don't have your girl out here looking crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Have y'all, can I ask y'all a question? Why do we go and we get our nails done and we sit up there and we be looking like this? Is it beautiful? And we don't say nothing about not liking our nails. Like, I guess on the day that I went and got my nails done, I just, I just wasn't in the mood to like, <laughs> this looks... This is the type of nails that I would get for my high school prom. Like, y'all. So, we've had a really um productive week. Bae and I went today because I had to go get a new printer. I finally got a new printer. So, we got a new printer. So, on... The next vlog, probably it won't make it in this one, but on the next vlog, we'll go over our fiasco with getting the printer switched out. Babe, what is wrong? You did print our homeowner's insurance or our renter's insurance. Yeah, we took 10 sheets of printer. What is going on with the new printer? It's junk. Babe, it was $200. Junk. Let's get started on the phone and see out the damn window. So now I have two things going on. One thing is, I wanted to tell you guys because I got some new dossier perfume. And I am going to be doing some outfits. I'm styling three outfits, right? Anyway, so I came on here because I got two new fragrances from dossier. Dossier, dossier. And I wanted to tell y'all about them. For whatever reason, in the beginning... Some of their fragrances was kind of a hit and a miss, right? But not anymore. So we got here. Is that better, girl? Should we go this way? Is that good? Okay. We have your girl is up ready when it comes to the lighting, okay? We have two different fragrances that I'm surprised that I like. One of them is called, ooh, that's bright. Powdery Coconut. Let's open up. I wanna also say something too. Y'all see that mosquito? You saved it. We gonna get you. One thing is, girl, why is it that Dossier not sending us the samples no more? What happened to that? What happened to the samples dossier? What the hell happened, girl? Anyway. So this one is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Okay, this one is cardamom, pistachio, jasmine, coconut, cedarwood, yin yang, yin yang, yang lang. So let me see how this one smells. You would think I would be more organized by now. Now I want um I saw our girl, y'all know who I'm talking about. She bought some of that glittery stuff, you know, the shiny like gold oil that's real popular. I really want some of that. And it was the Soleil Blanc one. Now you know what? I'm finna get irritated. Now the first time, now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I was coming on here to tell y'all. That I don't like this Soleil Blanc. The powdery coconut is supposed to be the equivalent to that Soleil Blanc. But now, y'all, it's giving me mature. It's giving me rich auntie. It's giving me strong. Kind of like in the same, along the lines of a Chanel Gabrielle, a Chanel Mademoiselle. Um, I've never smelt the Soleil Blanc, so you guys have to let me know. But it's giving me strong, very strong, rich auntie. 
yeah strong Woo. strong 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 this is giving me strong very mature very strong um i feel like it will give me a headache now it doesn't stink. Now I'm gonna be honest. I was prepared to tell y'all it stank because the first time I smelled it, I didn't like it. And I'm gonna be honest with you: is it something that I would reach for? No. Is it something that if someone gave to me, would I wear it at least once? Yes. But I don't know yet because the last time I smelled it, that's like when you get a fragrance, you have to keep the fragrance for a little while because the last time is this too bright? Yeah. Is that better? Let me see. Hold on. Girl, I don't know. The last time I smelled it, I didn't like it. Okay, so here we go. This one is Marc Jacobs. No, it's not. This ain't no Marc Jacobs. This is Floral Berries. This is not right. I know Marc Jacobs because Marc Jacobs Perfect is similar to that Floral Rhubarb. Or the rhubarb let me tell you something if you can get any two dossier fragrances i would get ambery cherry which is your tongue for a dupe that's the one when i was in the store and everybody kept saying oh you smell good oh you smell good that was that one ambery cherry it's supposed to be a unisex fragrance which is for men and women which y'all know i usually don't i don't usually deal with that but that actually smelled good and then um, the second one would be that Marc Jacobs dupe, uh, which is the rhubarb, right? This one is floral berries. I'm going to put across the... Mm, that smells good, but that smells masculine. That's a little masculine. This smells good. And it does smell like berries. That smells good, but it's not quite floral. It's not quite fruity, but it's masculine to me. It smells good, but I would say, okay, red apple, peony, rose, suede, and musk. See, I don't, I'm not really a musky type person. I don't really fool with the musk. But this definitely gives me red apple. It definitely gives me uh, jasmine and berry. It smells good, but this is very youthful. Floral berries. That one is youthful. I would buy that again. That's Soleil Blanc. I don't know, girl. I, I, I'm going to have to. The jury is still out on that. But listen. Y'all check out Dossier down below. Y'all know I put Dossier down below in the description. I need y'all's help. I need three outfits. Okay, they're going to be inspired by something that I love very much. And so I want to share the outfits with you. And I need you guys to tell me which one you think looks the best. Okay, so I've got lots of color, but I do got my neutrals. Y'all can't hate on my neutrals. Y'all know I love my neutrals. So for the first outfit, okay, we got these shoes. I need to just show it to you. Let me show it to you like this so I can show it to you all at once. Hold on, girl. I'm going to show it to you laying down so I can just show it to you all at once. Hold on one second. Okay, y'all. So here's this first outfit so i have this skirt i have a jacket well here let me okay so i have a like a, a jacket it's three quarter inch sleeve jacket here's the bracelet you know i love my custom bracelets it's like my favorite thing in the world and then i have my chain link I love that also. And then we have my classic LV earring. <sighs> Get off of me. My classic LV earrings. 
that I love. And then my sandal that wrap around, right? And then the bag. The bag! So that's the bag. So basically it's like a black sweater. There's like a basically like a bodysuit, like a lingerie bodysuit that goes from the bottom. And that's look number one, okay? Okay, and then here's outfit number two. We have our chino bag. We have my earrings here. My custom bracelets. We have headband, shoes, and then these are palazzo pants, which will be worn with that same bodysuit and black sweater top, right? So that's look number two, right? And you guys, listen, don't forget, you got to vote. Um, and there's red shades that go with this. And there's shades that go with the outfit also. I'm going to try to make pictures if I can, girl. Follow me on Instagram for pictures. Follow me everywhere, girl. You never know where it's going to pop up. Okay? So, that's look number two. This was number one. Right? This is number two. Now, y'all can kind of see the green over there. That's going to be look number three. Let me get you to number three. Hold on one minute. Ooh, momento. Okay, y'all, don't mind all this. This is she and stuff. Y'all ain't y'all see that later. So, we have... These shoes, right, green, Bottega green, the straps around the ankle. This is the bag. These custom bracelets, y'all seen these before, with my chain link, my rings, as well as my, my Louis Vuitton earrings. And then this is the dress. Similar to the pink one. Y'all know the pink one with the flowers. It's shaped the exact same way. Short, flirty, real cute. Okay? So, y'all let me know down below in the comments which outfit, like, which one are you most excited to see? Again, I got green glasses. I got red glasses. Um, like shades. So, I'm super excited about putting these looks together and what and letting you guys know what actually inspired them. So, be on the lookout, world, because I'm going to try to have it everywhere. Trust me, you're going to see them. If not Instagram, then Facebook and my other secret hiding place. Um, You'll see them on one of those places. So, definitely let me know, like, what your thoughts are. Also, y'all are going to be super excited. I ordered some swimwear, okay, from our favorite places, okay? We still have some Shein swimwear that I have to show you guys, okay? So be on the lookout for that. And I've got maybe three or four different swimwear um, and like vacation wear. And I'm going to do some styling. It's going to be really cute. I think y'all are going to like it. So I'll be on the lookout for that. And listen, I miss you guys, okay? I'm going to try my best not to stay away from you this long i really appreciate you guys being patient with me because i really needed some time to just woosa because <laughs> i needed that time what else i want to tell you guys i don't want to bore you but i be wanting to tell you stuff and i'm trying to make sure i've told you everything piece of lint hey girl well hello kings and queens hey um uh, to my queens bay respectfully <laughs> to all the bays of the queendom respectfully hello um and welcome hello everybody what's the tea uh, to head to Tampa. so we are on our way we're gonna go and hopefully have some brunch or lunch and just hang out in Tampa today. We're just gonna spend some time together. That's it. Like we just chilling. So today, I'm now listen, y'all. 
I know that I said I was going to stop doing all this color. And I get that. I mean, I was going to stop doing all black. But I just, that's like my default. I revert to all black. Like, I just, I do. And I got on all black. My um, dress is black. And this is a dress from Rep Dolls. It's just like one of those like slinky maxi dresses that are so comfortable that you can just throw on, put you some earrings, some jewelry on, and keep it moving. Now, I might be ashy because I don't have no old lotion on yet, but I'll make sure I put on lotion before we get to going. But anyway, hey, I just want to say hey and pop in and show you some love and give you some sugar. Babe, get the queen some sugar. Uh-uh, babe. What? Wait a minute. Was that a tongue? No. I told you to get them sugar. I ain't say put no tongue in it. No tongue. I thought I saw a little tongue. I don't appreciate that. But you know you can get a little fresh. Okay. All right, now. Don't be getting fresh. Y'all, so I have a question. So, as you can see, do you see how my hair looks a little white? Or a little gray right here or is it just me tell me down below in the comments do y'all have edge control that turns white or turns kind of gray y'all know what i'm talking about i don't like that can y'all please help me and tell me what is the best edge control or best stuff to put on your natural hair so that it don't turn gray or white after a while or get flaky i need some help with that so if y'all could come through i would appreciate it but anyway I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope that whatever happened in the past is gone and all passed away and we are coming out with new things and we are calling into and manifesting into our life the positive and all good things that are meant to come. Um, because that's what we need, girl. So, listen, I'm gonna chill and kick it. And you know what I'm saying? I will see y'all when we get going where we going time's been moving slowly so we already in too deep can't get no sleep on each other heavy teasing all day and when the sun sets you asking me to come hey girl oh let's go eat lunch we had a little bit of a parking fiasco, but I'm a little nervous because I've never been here before and I don't know what their chairs look like. What if I can't fit in the chair? Multiplying, I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the hygiene. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on high and need it. I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus That's not saying a lot because I don't drink a lot but that's one of the best margaritas I've ever had, ever in my life. We just building this season, a foundation. Make a name for generations, please, and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. You always posting the pictures, trying to. 
look like you winning Or look like you always be working Soak in the moments you live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Ooh. I'm on hiatus uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me The way that I found out about 7th and Grove is my hairstylist, y'all know, um, Nidra had her birthday party here. And I was supposed to come, but I got really sick, so I wasn't able to make it. And I have really been in a funk about it for a while. Um, shout out to all the Aries, right? Y'all know. Now, listen, if you're Aries, y'all know Aries know how to party. So, I was, like, so upset because basically all my family was going to be there. Like, people that I know, like... I was really looking forward to like having fun and letting loose, but I didn't make it. So they, being a, being a sweetheart, was like, hey, I want to take you to lunch today to 7th and Grove. And I was like, oh my God, really? Because he knows how bad I really wanted to go, seeing that I missed out going to the birthday party. So we went and I met the owner, I met the manager, our waitress. Her name was Camry. And my dumb ass was like, she was like Cammy or Camry. And I was like, Camry, like the car? I felt like such a dodo. But um, she was so pretty and so sweet. And then we ended up being from the same hometown. So it was just like little things like that that kind of let me know that I was supposed to be there, right? So I went in. Now, another thing that I was kind of worried about was the seating. I didn't know if they was going to have plus size friendly seating, but they have a lounge as well as a restaurant. So you can kind of go to the lounge area, do your hookah, get drinks. Mind you, girl, I got a margarita and y'all know I don't drink, but that was the best damn margarita. They had bottomless um, tacos and bottomless margaritas because it's Taco Tuesday. That was the best damn margarita I ever had in my life. The tacos was banging. The service was banging. Everything was banging. I had an amazing time. So shout out to Camry. Shout out to Jarvis. And I believe Khalil was the owner's name. So if you guys are in Ybor City or in the Tampa area and you want to get a really good place to go that's got the vibes, go to 7th and Grove because they have the vibes. Hey y'all, I'm trying to hold y'all as steady as I can. It's so bright out here. Girl, I got on black. It's hot out here. So we're just taking a scroll over here. But it's so bright, you can't see nothing. Hold on, let me show you. Is that better, girl? Over here, not too far from the Strad Center. Yeah, the party. Party. Oh, somebody's having a birthday party. Bay trying to get cake. Say so, hey pretty. to the people. Hello, everybody. <laughs> There's our uh, yellow water taxi. We'd like to get on. Yeah, so we over here at just kind of. Here, let me turn you back around. Um. To kind of route things out so we can do a vlog for y'all. You got the Sykes building, you got the Strauss but, Center, you got some other stuff over there. Stop but they can't see it for some reason. When I do it like this, they can't. When I do it like this, they can't see it for some reason. I have to just. Here, let me 
sit us down. Ooh. Okay. It's too bright, I guess. But anyway, so yeah, we're over here in Tampa, not too far from the River Rock, River Walk, and we are just scoping things out for when we want to come have a day and take you guys along with us. So, so it's sort of kind of like a date because we did go to Seventh and Grove, which oh, was amazing. But ooh, uh, uh B, come on now, B, come on now. I ain't gonna be here that long. But anyway, so yeah. We just chilling. Just chilling, just kicking it. And let me show y'all this water taxi. Hold on. Okay, y'all see that yellow thing right there? That's the water taxi right, right there. You see it? So that's where you pay a certain amount, you get on that, and then you ride it all day. It's got 17 different stops. So we want to do that for a vlog, but we had to kind of scope things out. There's the Sykes building, the Strauss Center, Strauss Center. Let's see, this is not too far from where you go to like see a lightning game, hotels. All that good stuff. Working for you guys, man. Working for you guys. Right now. 